multi-line or paragraph text consists of one or more lines of text or paragraphs that fit within a boundary that you specify. All of the lines of text are treated as a single object, regardless of the number of individual paragraphs or lines of text that it contains. To create multi-line text, you can either select the multi-line text tool in the annotation panel of the home ribbon bar, or the multi-line text tool in the text panel of the annotate ribbon bar. When you create multi-line text, you first determine the paragraph's boundary by specifying the opposite corners of a rectangle. Notice that AutoCAD prompts you to specify the first corner. I'll click to specify one corner. Then AutoCAD prompts me to select the opposite corner. At this point, I can also choose any of these other options. For example, to set the height, justification, line spacing, rotation, text style, width, or even create columns of text as well. When I click to select the opposite corner, what AutoCAD is essentially doing is defining a rectangular space that defines the left and right hand margins of the text. Once I pick that opposite corner, AutoCAD is ready for me to start typing the text. Notice that the ribbon bar changes to the Text Editor Contextual Ribbon, which shows me all of the options that are available to change the style, formatting, and paragraph controls, as well as insert symbols and fields, check the spelling, and so on. The controls in the Text Editor Ribbon should look familiar to anyone who has ever used a word processor. So at this point, I can select a different text style. I can change the height of the text. I can make the text bold or italic. I can underline the text. I can even change the text font or the text color. Or include a background mask so that the text stands out better against any geometry that may be behind it. I can change how the text is justified. I can create a numbered or bulleted list. I can adjust the line spacing. So there's a lot of flexibility here, very similar to the things that you can do when using a program like Microsoft Word. So let's start entering some text. I'm going to change the text height to one unit. Then I'll start typing. This is some text that I want in the drawing. Notice that as I type, AutoCAD does what's called word wrap. When I get to the right margin, I don't have to press enter. AutoCAD automatically wraps the text down to the next line. In fact, I don't press enter unless I actually want to start a new paragraph. If I don't like where the lines break, I can click here and drag the right edge of the bounding box. This gives me greater flexibility for placing the text in the drawing. I can also make changes to individual letters or words, just as I could in a word processor. For example, Maybe I want this word to be italicized. I can drag my cursor over it to select it, and then click the italic button. Maybe I want it underlined as well. I can also change the color of the font, or even change the font. So you can see that this works very much like a word processor. I can change the appearance of individual words or letters while working in the context of the text editor. When everything looks the way I want, I click the Close Text Editor button to end the command. Notice that when I move my cursor over the text, the entire paragraph is highlighted. With multi-line text, the entire paragraph, or even multiple paragraphs, is treated as one multi-line text object. And when I select the text, you can see the blue grips that define the bounding area of the text. I can grab this grip to move the text. 
If I drag this grip, I can change the right margin. And if I grab this grip and move it up, I force the text to flow into a second column. 